Oh, what a deal, what a deal. Hey guys, it's Jax. And I've got a problem. y'all that's off I'm trying to find a little light that's off that's done pig's blood out the door headed up to uh, school something Michigan I can't remember schoolyard or school something <laughs> gonna head up there and uh, gonna get a washout and uh, reload something I have no idea what we're loading and I don't know where it's going it's a Friday he said to just head up there we'll have something tomorrow keep your fingers crossed for me that it's a long haul so that I can kind of run out <clears throat> over the weekend. It's gonna be my last, this is my last upcoming week. Uh, I've been out for, well, by the time I get home, I'll have been out for three and a half weeks, which is crazy. It's actually kind of flown by. And uh, then we got a bunch more stuff at home to do. Some fun things coming up. But, quick lesson I wanna share with you, all right? I called the number for this place, the guy that um, brokers these loads for this feed mill. And he said, we have a 24 hour crew, pull in whenever you want, you can unload anytime. So it's two in the morning right now. And uh, you know, we're unloaded. But when I got here, nobody really around, kind of had to go dig around, finally found the night crew guys. They weigh me in and then kind of vanish. So I went back around and found them. And they're like, uh, you're the guy, huh? And I was like, yeah. They're like, ah, I hate to say this, but we're not gonna be able to unload you till morning time. Just, I think the bin that we have is too full. If you got here an hour ago, We'd have had room, but you're just gonna have to wait till morning. Now, could have done could have done a couple things here. I could have got kind of hot because I'm tired. Um, it's been a long day. It's the middle of the night, and could have flown off the handle a little bit, like truckers are known for, and kind of thrown my hat on the ground and stomped on a little bit and chewed them out. But instead, I tried something different. So that's too bad. First thing that came to mind was if I don't get, because I know if I don't get unloaded till mid morning. I might get washed out and up to Schoolton, <laughs> school, schoolyard. I might not get reloaded. And if I don't get reloaded, then I'll be sitting in Michigan all weekend, which would be bad. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself in my mind, I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done. So I tell the guys, man, I, I said, uh, is there any, I wonder what we can do. And I said, here, whose number is this? And I pulled up the number of the guy, the big broker guy that sends all these loads in here. I said, this is the guy that told me to come in the night. Oh yeah, that is, that's a, uh, that's such and such. Yeah, he's kind of the guy. He said, yeah, he's the one who told me to come tonight. So because of that, we booked a load. I've got to be in Michigan tomorrow morning to reload. And, okay, when well, they kind of him and haw a little, and I said, eh. and I hate to say this, but I know you don't want to unload me tonight because you might get in trouble if you overfill a bin. But if we don't unload tonight, these guys are probably going to charge you a ton of money for having me sit here tomorrow. 
and you're probably gonna get in trouble anyway for these guys getting billed a bunch extra. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Pretty soon they kind of start looking and thinking and kicking around. And I just stayed calm, just stayed chill. And uh, tell you what, we're just gonna get this done, he says. We're, we're just gonna get you unloaded. Let's just do it. I, I don't care what happens, let's just do it. I said, that's right, my man, appreciate you getting it done. So I backed in, got it unloaded, everything fit, and uh, gave him a big handshake and a slap on the back, and sincerely thanked him for getting this done and you know making my day tomorrow a little better. So uh, take take whatever lesson you can from that. I I'm not always good at that. There's times where I get pretty upset and lose my temper, especially when I'm tired. Took a different route, used a different approach, and got her done. So we're off like a shot. Let's go. All right, y'all. <laughs> the morning has broke. I got where I need to be. I did what I needed to do. And I got my load. Here I am sitting, if you're wondering why I'm in a dark, cavern cave with such a well-lit face. I'm inside a facility loading my next run. So here's what it is, are you ready for it? Schoolcraft, that was the that was the name of the town that was eluding me last night. Schoolcraft, Michigan, loading plant-based cellulose, also known as ground up paper powder, basically, that they use in pet food, apparently. they uh, It's fiber, and of course your pets need fiber to uh, pass things along. I've hauled a lot of pet foods the last couple weeks. That corn went into pet food. Um, this is going into pet food. All of you with pets, appreciate you supporting the uh, trucking industry. <laughs> this load is going from Schoolcraft, Michigan, all the way out to Woodland, Washington. 2,500, 2,600 miles. Is that what it was? No, no, it wasn't that far. 2,400 miles, I think. It's a long haul, which we love, remember? I was like, the weekend thing, you wanna get loaded. Right now it's noon on Friday. I, uh, I was able to, to get back up, got a big old nice sleep in there at the truck stop. Got up, got my trailer washed out. I didn't, wasn't able to get any footage of that for you, but don't worry, there'll be plenty more washout opportunities. So uh, here I am, here I sit. Uh, their policy here is that you can't be outside. I'm just dying to film this because we're inside this facility that's got these giant paper grinder things. I don't know what kind of paper they're grinding up. I don't know, I, I don't know. But you can hear the thrum. If you turn your bass up. <laughs> so. I'm gonna, they said I have to sit in here, and so I'm gonna sneak over to the window and try to get some footage of them doing their thing. They have it all pre-weighed. You know, normally you can say, well, I need to kind of watch my, watch the load and kind of help you along. All this is pre-weighed so they know exactly how much they're putting in. And you just, you just gotta wait patiently inside. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage here if I can of what's shaking. Fiber. For your pets. So here's one for you while we're waiting. You remember that, uh, I mentioned before how you, if you get paid by the ton, you can get a little bigger load on, you make more money, more bang for your buck, <laughs> but a lot of places won't load you over the local legal limit. Well, I pulled into this place to load, and they're like, how much weight do you want? I'm like, do I need to be your local limit, or do you do whatever? We'll do whatever you want to do, that's your deal. Oh, so you'll load me with more. If I want it, yeah. Okay, I pull up my uh, my paperwork. This load is the first load that I've hauled that is not paid by the ton. It's a flat rate. So this is what it pays. Doesn't matter, this is the deal. Here you go. So the one place I found that'll load me with more weight, the rate that the purchasing company set on it is a flat rate. So by loading more weight, I don't, I don't gain anything. So now I'm incentivized to load to the local limit. <laughs> Isn't that funny how the universe works that way? You're like, if you guys had this attitude the other day at this other place that I loaded, 
I'd have made an extra thousand dollars on that last trip. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can't have it all, can we? See these little pumps right here? Got to seal the load, seal the gates, so that they know when I get to Washington that. Seal. Morning of number 18, day number 18. And I would be lying if I told you that I'm not. Getting a little rundown looking. <laughs> oh, I just went in and washed up and stuff this morning. I'm like, oh boy, okay. I'm out of clean clothes. I'm out of clean hair. I'm out of clean beard. The good news is, however, I'm in Minnesota, which means I'm only one state away from being back into my cattle truck stop rewards program places, which means free showers coming. Uh, I paid $15 for a shower last time and uh, just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hammer down. By hammer down, I mean drive 64 miles an hour because I'm conserving fuel. But we're gonna rock on down and I'm gonna find me one of my old, good old cattle truck and truck stops. I'm gonna do my laundry, <laughs> and I'm gonna get cleaned up and refreshed so that when I get into a place, they don't assume that I am somebody's pet rather than a real human being. What do you say? Well, here I am. I'm gonna share with you guys the ultimate shame. The ultimate shame. Yep. Laundry on the road. 
It's the, now I know some of you are going, what's the big shame about doing laundry? I'm in a truck stop. Just bought me some Tide and I'm doing laundry. I guess it's not technically the shame. It's the fact that you know you've been on the road just a little too long. <laughs> I packed all the clothes I could, everything I could, and I'm down. I'm down to sweatpants and it's uh, slim pickings. So, welcome. Thankful to my mother for showing me the ways as a wee boy to uh, turn on the old machine. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to go get quarters. This one doesn't take, uh, most of them take a card, this one doesn't. Ah, we gotta go back downstairs. We'll get some quarters. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna do laundry, we're gonna shower. I just, so, you know, I went name brand cause that's, uh, that's all they have. Normally uh, would not have cause I'm pretty miserly. <laughs> but boy, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, 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 oh we're gonna. Roll Tide. Mm. <laughs> Just got her all loaded up and guess what? They're out of order. Out of order. So, we're gonna have to go down. See what else they have. Just packed up all my dirties. <sighs> yeah. Just like what Rooster used to load sheep. Remember what he's talking about in that video? <laughs> so no one could see his face. Fresh out of quarters. How's it going, old buddy? Two. Three. Four. You know, four and a dollar is probably good. I'm just doing two loads, so. That's what we got, isn't it? Four and a dollar? Yep. Okay. Thank you. You bet. We just came in the door and vanished. All right, you guys, I found him. I found him. I was looking around earlier. I was like skittering around the hallways because I saw you come in. And then you like vanished on me. And now you came back. I just got my laundry started. I was just getting sick. Yeah. The it's, one upstairs is out of order. Yeah. I don't know why. What's going on? That's your thing, right? <laughs> I never pay attention to nah, that. Nah, laundry is not your gig. <laughs> so guys, this is Grayson. He's the at least number one in my book maintenance man here in Vivian, South Dakota. You make everything happen here, don't you? Oh yeah. I always try to make you guys comfortable. And yeah. I know a lot of you guys don't get the reputation like you should. Right. Yeah. Just kinda. like this is last year with that Freedom Convoy and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. Did they roll through here? Yeah. Did they? But it was... Not convoy, because it was about five trucks and uh, a whole bunch of cars. <laughs> a whole bunch of cars, funny. It's funny, so uh, I've been. this is kind of the place in South Dakota to stop for, usually they have the cheapest fuel, and they just remodeled the truck stop, which is nice, right? Remember the old building, how small and oh, dumpy yeah. it was, and the old showers? Yeah. How long have you been here? Five. Five years? Mm -hmm. You guys, you don't find a, a company man that'll stick around for five years these days. <laughs> and I make sure he knows it every single time. Because he's always got all the, you always got all the washers fluid, squeegees are all good. They always work. They're always full of juice. Garbages are always empty. Everything's washed off. You're kind of the man, you know what? Well, it's yeah. fun now because we we had a guy um here, but then he quit, so I'm back doing the 60 days a week. Really, again. 60 hours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so you're getting so a little overtime. Well, I work six six days and then I get Sundays off. Oh, so, oh, you're six days. Okay, gotcha. Dang. And they're both ten hour days now mm -hmm. again. Yeah. So you're working six tens. Yep. And you get a day off. Yep. And, and then, then six tens. Yep. And you bet no, you never complain about it, do you? No. <laughs> it's 
See what I'm talking about? More money because this last year we spent 50 grand on six loads of hay for our cows. So you guys were in the same problem with the drought trying to find hay. I didn't know. I didn't know you guys had cows. Yeah, we got longhorn, um, and then we're trying to raise um, bucking bulls too. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So longhorn bucking bulls. That's crazy. You don't ride them, do you? No. Yeah, I was going to say, Dad. My dad, when he was younger, he used to do all four of the rough stock events. Okay. He's a wild man? <laughs> yeah? You're a little calmer than the old man? Yeah. <laughs> I don't do none of that. I'd rather be behind the panels working with them. Yeah. So did you get enough hay to get through the winter? Oh, yeah. Did we got um, six, six loads from, because we used to get from a guy that my dad works for in the fall for feather hunting. Yeah. Well, his neighbor um, gave him a better price for hay, which we understand. Yeah. So we went to one of our other guys and we got um, 100, 120 bucks a ton yeah so yeah it's uh it's pricey i'm glad you found enough we're uh i think we're gonna squeak through just barely you've been watching man. Right? yeah he watches he watches so you're gonna see yourself on the youtube pretty good right yeah yeah and then you use the headset for when uh, things get pretty serious out there you gotta put your headset now no i would use it for pandora because oh, all, nice. all the other heads that's only the last two hours, this one, I don't know. I never had it down yet. Uh-huh. Works pretty good. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. when my parents call, all I got to do is just... Flicker down and roll? <laughs> I need to get a headset. I'm like the last trucker in the world. And I, I just can't. I can't do it. I, I tried it once and I just... Anyway, I need to get on board with it. I want like a full two-eared, like a helicopter uh-huh. pilot type. That's yeah, I've seen a lot of guys wearing them. But I yeah. like this one so I can hear people. You can hear what's going on. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Fun. Well, I'm going to go hit the shower. It's good to see you, old yep, buddy. You too. Yep. He's the man. You guys get through Vivian, South Dakota. Stop in, say hi to Grayson. Give him some knuckles and he'll treat you right. else unloading is there? No. I'll just check in real quick. Okay. Right, okay. Howdy. All right, I'm here. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny. It's funny something. Uh, Some places it's just funny. You wheel in and you go where it says to go, and then you're walking to the office and they're like, no, 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 you can't park your truck there. You're like, I'm just gonna check in real quick. There's nobody here. No, no, you gotta go park it over there. So go park it over there and go to check in. No, you can't park there. You're like, you guys, I'm gonna go check my load in and we're gonna get it unloaded, okay? I'm not moving. I'll move it one time for you. That's it. <laughs> not after a 2400 miler. We're just, uh, we're just gonna get checked in. If there was a line of trucks here and stuff, I understand. But anyway, we're here, we're gonna back in. It looks really tight. I forget how much I love old Washington for being 
tight. Uh, like right there already. <laughs> when I hit the fence, I'm gonna drive over the railroad tracks. Everything in Washington was made for little things. For wee trucks. This is a 50 foot long spread axle. If you guys truck, any of you, you know how well spread axles handle tight, tight areas at times. It's not gonna use every inch of their little runway they've left me here. In fact, I'm in the neighbors now. <laughs> Leave it all, Jackie B. Get by these pallets. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm at Alfia Pet Products in Woodland, Washington. Backing into a dark hole. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna one shot this baby. I'm not supposed to back all the way in. I was a ding dong for parking next to the fence. I'm like, well, what? Are you gonna back in? I'm like, yeah. Move your truck here. Move your truck there. Back in. Don't back in. that little deal was that the guy that was uh, the guy that was helping me to start with was not the guy <laughs> once the guy came like the guy it's all good piece of cake bada beat bada boom very slow took three hours to get that load off but on to the next so here's what we got it going next just got the call come through right before I got done unloading got one more load to haul Guess what? I'm gonna go home. <laughs> so I'm on my way. I'm 
transversing across Washington, uh, up up a little further north, and going to load some some. Uh, pardon the pronunciation. People pronounce it differently. I'm not sure the scientific pronunciation. I think it's triticale, but a lot of people call it triticale. <laughs> like rhymes with Haley, triticale. Maybe that should be Haley's new nickname, triticale. <laughs> anyway, load of triticale. Um, going back to Montana, so that's the plan. We're gonna get over there. I'm uh, going across Highway 12, which I've never been across in Washington. I believe it's going to be quite a scenic and beautiful route with uh, lots of rain and a little snow up on top. And uh, we'll settle in, get up there, get some shut-eye, get loaded tomorrow morning, and we will bing, bang, boom this thing. One more load, slam it in the basket, and uh, get on back because I am extremely anxious to see, uh, see the family again. After being home for that long, uh, you know, I was home for the calving. You know, I've ran a few loads here and there, but nothing extended. It was always out and back real quick. And then I just left. Uh, when I return, it'll be 22 days. So I am extremely excited, as you may imagine, to get home and uh, see uh, Weed Man Weed and Rabbit and Little Marnie and Bama. <laughs> it'll be good. So... Enjoy a little bit of Highway 12, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. good slept good I think it's because I knew I'm homeward bound maybe that's why I slept so good let's check this out loading at this old time elevator last blast right and I tell you what it's coming right down to the wire of can I even do it and here's here's what we run into so my truck is about 13 feet tall with see that windscreen I So Chris and I are out here loading this, uh, actually we're going to get the official pronunciation. It's triticale, right? Triticale. Ah! I was telling everybody last night that I hear it pronounced two ways. People either pronounce it triticale or triticale. Oh, okay. Then it's, anyway. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to go with triticale. <laughs> and then here I am getting You're the official. Close. See, look at me. Cool. Anyway, so we're out here loading 
And uh, Chris is the one that did the fine job watching my uh, my bird banger <laughs> up there, so we didn't tear it off. So we're out here loading, and I'm watching my watching my trader, watching my gauges, and all of a sudden I hear these happy, joyous chirps, almost like a like a leprechaun who's found some treasure. And I look over, and Chris holds up some trash, and he holds up what? I found a twenty. A twenty. And then I went back, and I found another twenty. So. So some ding dong out here is like, I'm gonna litter. And they throw stuff out the window. And while they were throwing stuff out the window, they threw a 20. And I kind of was laughing to myself over here when you were wand <laughs> when you start wandering off. I was like, oh, he thinks he's gonna find, maybe he'll find some quarters or something. And he's like, hey, I found another 20. I'm like, come on. But the bright side of it is, I don't have to tip you now when we're done. I, uh, for coming out here, <laughs> right? let me, you, you yeah, found your tip yeah. in the bar of <laughs> with the bone you guys aren't gonna believe this I loaded this morning I drove all the way here to where I'm going and I just planned on sleeping here and unloading in the morning but there's lights on again right what did I learn from my last deal when there's lights on come check it out so I'm here checking it out I'll show you this deliveries from 7 30 a.m. So 9.30 p.m. I rolled up here at 9.20, 25. Sweet. For entry, please use the doorbell around the corner or call. Of course, these are all after hours numbers. Always picking up. They ring the doorbell. Many moons, many or many times under the moon, rather is what I meant to say. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna be in luck this time. I've been looking. I even climbed up and banged on the window nicely. So what I was gonna do, and I'm not gonna wait for much longer, because now I'm after 9.30, so they'll, even if they do come out, they'll probably say, well, it's too late. But I was going to try to get unloaded. I live about four, about four hours from here. And I was gonna try to buzz home and try to surprise mama in the middle of the night, which is always fun, because that's unexpected, you know? <laughs> uh, but, looks like we're just gonna have to go to bed, I guess. Darn it, but you can't win them all. We've won a lot. We've had a lot of good things go on. Montana milling. All right, if something changes, I'll let you know.
bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I was filming away there originally, and then uh, the old boy put the shut down to me. I was gonna show you how they test it and whatnot in the office there. They have a little process, but I got the big X nay. Trade secrets, they were worried about trade secrets. So, uh, anyway, we got out and got done loading, and he comes over and he's like, hey, you can film out here, they just don't want anything being filmed inside the office in the mill and whatever, so, which I understand, that's fine. He was good about it. So, uh, anyway, there was a little action for you. We are headed for home, 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 to the ranch. To the ranch, let's go. I'm just driving back into town, my hometown. <laughs> and like, it's been so long since I've been here. Like I say, this is what's weird to me about this. I've hauled cows like crazy before. We're just like week after week after week. But the thing you have to remember with cows and the way that I've done it is you're always coming back to Montana. So I may not be coming home to my hometown, but I'm in and out of Montana. <coughs> Excuse me. All the time. And so you never really feel like you're away, away. I've been gone from Montana this entire time. Everyone I see, I'm like, hey, oh, remember me? I'm back. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, yeah, uh, I made it, I returned. No, I'm safe, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, no, roads were good. Nope, not many troubles. Hey, you know, <laughs> that's how I feel. Oh, how silly. <laughs> Look who I found, you guys. Look who I found. Who is it? Bama. It's Bama. And I got a new pony to warm this in me. Oh, can you turn your head sideways so everyone can see it? Oh, beautiful. What else did you get? What's those for? Um, my garden. For your garden? Yeah, you want to see what them look like? Yeah, show them. Dad. Oh. A little pea. Hey, yeah. You're gonna hang on, Newt. You're gonna plant them right out there. That a girl, Booney. Yeah. Bam, bam. Did you like your new nickname? Do you remember what it is? Come here. Yeah. Do you remember your new nickname? I don't know. What was it? Booney bear. Booney bear. Booney bear. What you got, Marnel? We went to the school and there was a basketball court there, uh -huh. and I made it in the ten foot. And from ten feet out, you hit a shot. At a boy, Booney. No, I made the 10 foot. Oh, that high? You mean it's 10 feet high? Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, Dad, I am the watch me all these. Yeah, I'm going to watch you grow them. Okay. How long will it take? You need what? Come here. You need water? Water, pig blood, uh, and... Sunshine? And sunshine and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, you guys. Rabbit? Yeah. I'm happy to see you. Do you know how long I was gone? A month. Um, almost a month. Mm -hmm. Did it go fast or slow for you? It was a long time. Mm -hmm. Can I'm in? Big Dan? Who's going to eat all these peas? Um, uh, my family. Your family will. Are you going to share them? Yeah. My mom said I can have these. Mm -hmm. Your very own little garden. And, uh, 
I want these so I can shoot them. I'm yet to find the one I've been searching for still. My search goes on. Oh, 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 oh. my search is over. It Look is. who I found. Three weeks. <laughs> Three weeks. You survived? Nah. Nah? What you drinking there? Collagen. Some juice goose. For my wrinkles. But, yeah? I aged a lot while you were gone. Yeah. Good. Some crow's feet and some lovins. I like that. Brown lines. Yeah. Because you're so sad? From being sad. I get smile lines when I'm gone because I'm so happy when I'm gone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. uh, yikes. It's good to be back, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little peek. I might do that more often. Just kind of bring you along on some of these truck trips. I think it's good for everyone to learn. Gives me a little more purpose on, on the road. And uh, hopefully teaches you a few things about the, uh, the wide, wide world of trucking. <laughs>